In this tutorial, I will show you how to sign in and sign up using Firebase in React Native. First, before developing, I want to show you the application, how it works. So we will click on need an account or sign up. By the way, this is my real device I connected with Air AirPlay. So here, let's sign up with an email to check how it works. This will be Gmail and write a random password like this and click on sign up. After you signed up, you see there's a welcome and writing my email. Also, you can use logout and this information saves on Firebase authentication. So let's make a real project and also you can find the codes in description from my GitHub repository. First of all, I will open new project to showing you everything from scratch. All right, so let's make a project, write npx create expo app and write your project name, Firebase Auth Tutorial. And I will use expo to run on my iPhone. And now let's close the expo because we will run another application. All right, so after you installed all your projects and don't forget to navigate your folder. So now open new terminal and run npx expo start. Actually, before starting our project, also let's install Firebase packages. So I will do copy paste from my other project and you can stop the video and write this package name, npm install Firebase and React Native Firebase app and also React Native Firebase auth. And after you write this in terminal, click enter to install these libraries. Let's go to set up our Firebase in firebase.com. Actually, I made this project, but I will delete it and I will show you everything from scratch. Okay, click on add project and enter your project name here, Firebase Auth Tutorial, and click continue again and select your default account for Firebase and create project and wait to install your Firebase project. All right, so click on continue. First of all, you see there is multiple platforms. We will use web for this tutorial. And here, just write any app name here, if you want, and click on register app. All right, so we installed Firebase. We just need here a Firebase configuration and go to your project, go to your app.js, and paste it here. So later we will use this configuration and click on next and again, and click on continue. So go to build and authentication and get started. For this video, I will just show you how to log in with email and password. So click on email and password and enable it and click save. Okay, so we are ready to code our project. So first of all, I will do copy paste for styles. Also, you can do copy paste from my GitHub repository. You can find in description for styles. We don't need to write all these styles. Let's import Firebase libraries and all, all the React Native libraries. So also I will do copy paste here. I just imported React and use state, use effect and import text input buttons and other UI things and also initialize app from Firebase and get authorization, create user with email and password, also sign in on auth stays changed and also sign out. So also you import these packages. So let's first of all initialize our Firebase with writing const app, initialize app Firebase config. Also let's add these parameters to function to use it in our project. Email, set email, password, and set password is login. Also set is login and handle authentication. So we will use it in our app. So first, let's change my view style to make it same as mine. And also I will write a text here. And also let's run application to see the results with npx expo start. 
and go to Expo Go app in your phone if you're running on real device and sign in with your same Expo account and run your project. All right, so let's start with updating first text here. I will show sign in or sign up if user won't sign in or not. So first you see there is sign up text and I will add a text input here to show email and you set email and you can add a placeholder with email and make it auto capitalize none. So add another text input again for password. So that's why I don't write here. I don't want to make the video longer. And also you can find these codes in my GitHub repository. So now let's also add a button to say the user won't log in or sign up. And lastly, I will add a text if user won't sign in user will click on this button to switch between sign in and sign up. All right, so I will change this app function to of screen. I will delete this to const of screen equal like this. And now let's add another function for authenticated screen. Use user and handle authentication. And we will return, if user authenticated, we will return welcome and user email and also sign out button. So lastly, let's open const app function to run our application. So first of all, I will call my use state variables, email, password, and user, and is login. Also call authorize get authorized app. This app is coming from this initialize app const variable. We will use an use effect set authorized changed or not, and getting user information and also we will use this handle authentication for sign out or for login and for sign up so we will check if user exists like if it's already authenticated then log out and console like user log out successfully but else if it's not signed in so check out is it logging or sign up if it's logging, so log in to his exist account, or if it's not, it's sign up. So create user email and password using Firebase. So if there is an error, return it, uh, error message. So that's it. And let's display the UI on application. So I will paste my code also returning scroll view for if it's user exist, show the user authenticated screen. And also, if it's not, we will display authorized screen, like login or sign up. And we will display email, password, and login buttons. So that was uh, a login code. So let's check out how it's working now. So stop your project if it's running and run again with npx expo start. So also, I will close this app and run again. So you see it's Firebase authorized tutorial. Yeah, we have a uh, error 19. So let's check it out. What is that? Yeah, we have a uh, error here. Yeah, actually we forgot to add equal like this and now it should work. So stop your project. It's not updating. So run it again. Sometimes this happening, close your app and run it again. Okay, click on app and also run const export delete const text here. All right, so now it works. So we see our sign in and sign up screens. So let's make a new account. So I will sign up on my phone here. So I will use a new email. So this is just an example email and write a password and click on sign up. All right, so it says welcome code lab.gmail.com and reload your page to see the user. All right, it's made our account. So also I will try to sign in with my exist account. So it's not changed. So let's click on sign in and you see it's returning our name. So, and let's check if it's sign out works. 
I will close my app and run Expo Go. It should not show our application in sign in mode. Yeah, it works. So that was the tutorial, and you will find these codes in my GitHub repository. Link, it will be in the description below.